I hack stuff for ethically. So uh, we're going to do some live hacking here. Jamie's got uh, Google Glass on, so we're going to stream this to people through the Inatech website. And I'm going to let him hack my website at New Air. So um, he totally has permission to do this. So I hope there yeah, will no, so be no, what, what there will be no raids coming in, because <laughs> I completely allow this. So what I do is um, there's this piece of software called Nessus. So the first thing I do is I complete a scan on the website. I mean, I could do all this manually, but I'd be there for like hours, well, days, months doing it. So this application kind of just like chucks loads of spiders and just says, hey, just go crazy. Because I mean, it's not, it's not the fact that tools make you like a script kitty. You've got to know how to use the tools. So I'm looking at this website and now I can tell that it's pretty much running WordPress, I'd say, or some kind of like content management system. So I don't think that's custom coded. I can find an exploit in pretty much any site. I've, I've, I'm known for finding quite a lot of zero days in common um, software that gets released. And what's a zero day mean? So a zero day is effectively, it's like a bug that nobody knows about. So that bug is live from that day and I could exploit that on thousands of systems. So what I'd actually do is inject into the database so it's running MySQL. And then I pull the user tables, like usernames, passwords, and email addresses. And then like WordPress encryption is really bad. So I'm just throwing it out there for you guys that have WordPress. You don't want to use it, but it's pretty good. So the benefits of us as users is we get to see our bank statement or we get to buy things from Amazon. The detriment to us as users is the vulnerabilities that exist through things like PHP, MySQL, and all these backend databases and, uh, and parser. So hackers nowadays are doing that. So they're not actually in decrypting them themselves. And um, they're using like websites that have already decrypted thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of passwords. And it's just so much easier to do and you don't have to wait to do it because it just matches the hash with the one that's encrypted. Yeah, so, decrypted. Uh, so to decode that, it used to be that you'd run your own decryptor and you'd have a, a few like the nineties. A few gigabytes <laughs> of data. <death. laughs> hey, wait a way to school me. I just showed you how to increase font size, so don't forget the uh, <laughs> don't forget the old school hacker here.